Life is often difficult and it is even more difficult if we are harboring anger and resentment. You know how it feels like when we are absolutely powerless to this sort of really unproductive type of emotions? Well, I'm going to talk about the five tips in metaphysics that you could use to overcome resentment. Now, if you are new to this channel, be sure to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification on all future videos that we release here. And also, if you're new here, uh, do introduce yourself here in the comment section so, so I can get to know you a little bit more. And also, if you are returning uh, as someone who is really watching this, tell us, um, tell me how you feel about all this um, uh, video and all these messages that have been getting so far and how it has it helped in your life. Thank you so much. Now, let's talk about resentment, shall we? Because this is a big topic when it comes to metaphysics uh, um, counseling or coaching. Because uh, I think um, it's been said before, and this comes from uh, some of the Buddha's teachings. It's like um, the, he talks about anger and resentment is equivalent to someone drinking poison and hoping that the other person would die. Well, that's how it feels like when we are harboring anger and uh, dissatisfaction um, you know, and resentment towards somebody else and possibly that somebody else don't even know that we are harboring such feelings, right? And so this actually impacts the way we live our life, the way if we make decisions and the way we actually conduct our entire lives. If we hold this in us, it's not going to be very productive and it holds us back and we, we can't be happy. So what are the ways that we could actually um, use in terms of metaphysics that will allow us to actually help us release such anger and pain. So I'm gonna talk about the five ways that we could use to overcome resentment. Method number one, understand the law of cause and effect. Now it is important to understand that everything has a cause and effect, right? So in order for us to release ourselves from this pain and this poison of, uh, uh, that we have right now, then the logical step is to go and trace back to the cause and how this happened in the first place. So if you trace this back, you know, it's basically you could trace it back to, you know, someone that you have expected to, uh, for that person to do something or did not do something or say something who did not say something and we strongly expected them to do so or not to do so and they did it and therefore we have this enormous disappointment in us that turns out to be anger and resentment, okay? So generally, we, we could summarize that the, the cause for resentment can be traced back to some extreme, strong, unfulfilled expectations. So in order for you to release yourself from such pain, the first thing is you got to trace back to this cause in the first place. And if you um, don't know what's the cause, you can't identify it and you can't release it from your life. Okay. So cause and effect, the yin and yang of things, okay? This is the, the backbone of all Chinese metaphysics. In fact, it's, it's a philosophy that, um, you know, that holds true to many aspects of our lives. In order for the effect to happen, there must be a cause for it. So if we are, the effect right now is we are suffering from a silent uh, anger or resentment towards someone, then mu it must be traced back to a point where we had an expectation of someone and that expectation is not met. Now, um, there, there could be two causes to it. The first cause is that person probably don't even know and until now don't even know that you're resenting him or her. And that's the sad part, right? You are feeling on this anger and it pulls you back and it hurts you. And yet the other person don't even know, right? And the second uh, reason could be, could be you did communicate the expectation, but the other person couldn't do it, okay? Now that again, we're expecting the person to be able to be capable enough to deliver what he or she has promised, but obviously they didn't, wasn't able to do. And so our, unex our, our expectations are not met and therefore we have this resentment. So before we can lead on to tip number two, the first part is to, you must know what the cause is. Because when we talk about the second part, which is what everyone talks about, is to have true forgiveness, okay? Now, that's the second tip, have true forgiveness. Now, I say true forgiveness, not those who say, you know, I can forgive, but I cannot forget. Listen, if you're going to remember this, it's going to trace it back to all this pain, and then it's going to have all this resentment, going to reignite it once again. If something just 
remotely even resemble that form, that form of betrayal that you seem to feel. And then suddenly you go back to square one once. So the best thing to do the true forgiveness before you can achieve that is first identify what it is and then you know come to a point where you could achieve apathy right apathy means you're not going to hate it it just doesn't bother you anymore okay now of course you could use metaphysics for this you could use uh, certain days like remove day or you can use a star called relief star you can use clash days in in astrology in parts in feng shui there's so much you could do but let's say you're not very familiar with metaphysics then you could of course mentally through your willpower well achieve true apathy okay so some people meditate to 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 this some people would just you know allow themselves to release whatever way works for you well for me i use uh, metaphysics but for you you might use something else but the point is you need to get to a point of apathy which means that you don't want to be you know uh somehow stuck in a point where you forgive but you don't for, uh, you can't forget and then it, it sort of rings back stuff you're not talking to this person anymore every time you try to give this person the cold shoulder and all that it's sort of you still feel it right so the best thing to do is achieve apathy right so if you could truly forget i mean this matter is there but it doesn't really bother you anymore then you know you achieve to a point where it is no longer really bothering you okay tip number three is this you need to like yourself more this is important, right? Because if you truly like yourself and you treasure yourself, you won't drink poison, right? Why would you want to put yourself through such pain and torture yourself and have your own mental thoughts hit you down all the time and, and think it's unfair, you know, this is not good, the person promised me this, you say that, and then you feel unhappy every single day. Well, the other person living happily out there doing whatever he or she wants and you are here suffering, why would you not like yourself a bit more? If you just like yourself a bit more, you wouldn't do this to yourself, right? So the thing is, uh, of course, you're going to achieve this with, with, with uh, feng shui. There is a direction uh, in feng shui that is called the longevity direction, the yen yen direction that actually allows you to build better relationship. Now, better relationship doesn't have to be with other people. It can be with yourself. If you have not so good relationship with yourself, you tend to torture yourself a bit more through this type of thinking, resentment thinking and uh, hatred thinking, and then sort of, you know, you just sort of enjoy or indulge in pain all the time, okay? So that is the point number three. And tip number four is this, achieve better abilities in communication. Isn't it so if you want to someone to do something or not do something, wouldn't it make sense if you have clearly communicated your expectations, reasonable expectations that is, if you have reasonably, you know, communicated your expectations, um, it would be easier for that person to understand what you want and or at least what you don't like in the first place and then you know allow this that person a chance to you know live to it or at least avoid pissing you off in the first place right so um there are many uh things in parts that you can do to improve your style of communication basically you want to be able to communicate in a way that informs them and enlightens them about how you respond and how you react of course you got to be fair in your expectations yeah if you have unreal expectations that's also another problem that's topic for another day okay but here's the thing right so you could use feng shui to help yourself somehow communicate a little bit better that there are many ways okay but feng shui and metaphysics may not be the only tool if you just learn how to do it i'm sure there are many tools out there but at least have the courage to communicate clearly okay that will solve a lot of problems in the first place okay and tip number five become independent why is it that you need somebody to support you to agree with you to validate you and then you feel all right isn't it okay to just be okay with no support the problem is people just expect everybody like wife kids they oh, they don't support me if they, if they don't support me i feel hurt inside if you're supposed to support me you're the husband you're the wife you're supposed to support that's the thing you expect support right what if the person that's supposed to support you is just yourself then you don't need everyone's approval or validation right you'll be all right you'll be independent okay and it's not that you're going to go out your way to piss people off but at least you don't feel resentment when people don't support you or at least agree with you right you'll be all right okay so really you don't need that much support from other people you just need to be okay with yourself right so these are the five things that uh, we talked about uh if you want to overcome resentment and you can use metaphysics to do that you can use the feng shui setup to allow you to gain better confidence in gaining independence in terms of your own validation there's so many ways to do that but let's say you can't use feng shui or use metaphysics then just do it on your own right but these are the five approach that you could um, take the five tips you could take to help you overcome resentment 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do leave me a comment here on how you have overcome resentment in your own life because your story is very important to other people who are also going through, you know, some form of resentment and anger in their lives. So hopefully you can also inspire other people. And uh, if you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel and click on the not notification button to get not notified every time we release a new video right here. Thank you so much for watching.